Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Today we'll be looking at an awesome plugin called Diopter, and it allows you to create optical effects for your video footage. So normally I don't do plugin reviews for After Effects, but I'm very excited about this uh, plugin called Diopter, uh, which is I think extremely helpful for video producers and for compositors, which allows you to really do awesome things with your video. So if you're doing like a stylized sequence, you can easily do this with a drop of a preset, or you can mess with the parameters, which we'll explore in this video. Or if you're trying to do like a sequence in the film that's showcasing like a little bit of distortion or whatever, this effect allows you to do this very easily and it looks really good. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at this effect. So here we are inside of After Effects and we already have Diopter applied and take a quick look at the before and after. So this is with Diopter and this is without Diopter. So take a look at the edges of the frame and take a look at Scarlet's lights right here. And as we turn it on, you can see a little quick before and after. We see that we have some nice light streaks coming in from the actual practical light sources. And we have this very nice focused blurred look around the edge of the car, which really brings a lot of attention to this and makes this seem like a more you know, high speed impactful scene. So what Diopter allows you to do, it allows you to create a lens which you can easily move around with the uh, anchor points right here and you can really start to highlight you know, what's going on in your scene and put the focus on whatever you want. So now we move those focal lengths over, you can see that you know the actual light streaks have changed and we have a lot going on here and we're able to easily manipulate the image just by using these focal planes and we'll take a look at this in a second, but first I wanna take a look at some of these presets as we move forward here. So we have a lot of awesome presets over here on the right and we can easily just apply a couple of these and see what's gonna to happen to our shot here. So we applied this uh, graphic glitch one. You can see there's a lot of RBG going on here. Uh, let's take a look at another one real quick. So we have graphic speed. And now with this one, we have kind of this nice hallation effect. Take a look what's happening to the practicals here, the light sources, and it's really dragging this image out and looking really awesome. We see we have the focal uh, point right here, or sorry, the anchor point. And this allows us to just move it over and put it on top of our, you know, our area of interest. You know, that looks really awesome. Uh, of course, there's, you know, a lot of uses for this. And this is Jensen again. And as you see, I mean, there's a little before and after. You can see there's a nice little difference in it. Let's take another look here. Let's grab... Um, you know, we have a vignette. We have these uh, reflect presets in here, which I really like these. And that looks really cool. And there's a lot of cool things we can do with just these presets. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find exactly what you're looking for in just these presets and they're fun to play with. So also with the purchase of this plugin, you get over 40 elements here, which are video and photo elements that you can overlay on your footage without using the plugin. And it's just a nice little added, uh, you know, extra add-on here. So we have this bokeh here, which we can add on to any shot in here. So let's go ahead and add this clip and we can turn off the adjustment layer and we can move over here. So maybe we'll put bokeh, maybe not particular on this one, but we'll see what it looks like. And we can set the blend mode to screen. And now we have this nice bokeh effect here. And it's all of course going to be in motion. So a lot of cool things to, you know, take a look at. So that's really nice on top of the actual purchase of the plugin, but let's come over here and let's take a look at diopter. So we'll go ahead and add the effect and we'll add it. We'll take a quick look at what's gonna happen here. So right off the bat, you're going to have just this nice circle blur here. Not much going on with the effect and you know, no big deal. We'll go ahead and start adjusting this and it's very easy to use and we'll take a look at some of these parameters here. So we have different types of lenses. So you can do a rectangle, a triangle. You can come over here and we can invert the alpha which will give you more of this tilt shift effect here. Edges are very sharp. So what we can do is increase the feather here and we'll see that the edges will actually start to feather off a little bit. And you know, that's very subtle, a little bit more focused on what's going on in the scene. And now we can come here to maybe the position and this will add like a little bit of animation. So we can come here and type in wiggle, open parenthesis, uh, 0.5 comma 20, close parenthesis. And this will give us just a little bit of nice, you know, animation to the, to the lens here. That looks nice. And you can of course offset the rotation. So as we offset the rotation, you can see kind of what's happening here. You see that the blurs are moving over. We'll, do it, we'll go to like 30 degrees. So the lens menu allows you to place where you want to set up your blurs and optical distortions. So if we go to the blur menu, this is where we start to be able to manipulate what's going on here. So we have the fast blur and realistic blur menu. Obviously those should be self-explanatory. I'm just gonna use fast blur because fast blur is still really awesome. And we come over here, we can maybe lower the amount down a little bit and we come up here and we can increase the optical distortion and if you take a look at the side of scarlet you can see the distortion of what's going on here and don't touch my scarlet and um you know it's really awesome a lot of cool effects you can apply here but i'm gonna keep that at zero for this actually you know what i will keep it at 117 i like that 
and we come here to the trail menu and we set this to 50%, we can see that the blur gets stretched out even more. And that's kind of how you can manipulate, you know, practical light sources. As you can see the LEDs underneath the car is, you know, being stretched out as far as some of the light sources over here. So that's really nice. And of course you have directional blur, which is just another blur which you can experiment with. And then you have the other menu and this is where things can continue to get crazy. So you can uh, manipulate, manipulate the lightness, which will you know affect obviously the exposure of your shot. But it's also, I mean, it can really add like a nice light glow effect to your you know scene. So that, you know, that's really nice. So maybe we'll set this down to like 20%. And then we could check out the color menu. So come here and maybe change the opacity to 20% as well. And right now the color is set to white. So it's just going to be a nice little white effect. And we come up here and we change the color, say, to red or something like that. Now we're going to be able to stylize where the lens is at. And it's going to look really nice. And, you know, it looks really cool here. I'm going to go ahead and just turn it off for the scene. And then we'll go take a look at, obviously, the probably my favorite part, the chromatic aberration, which is all built into here. And we come up here and we can manipulate that if we want. So we can maybe set this, you know, the red and maybe also the blue channels to 20% and we can see this overall RGB effect. So that's really cool. So you can create a very nice glitch effect. And then you obviously have the blending mode over here and you can change the blending mode to depending on what you want to do, but I'm gonna keep it at normal for this and just a little before and after. So this is before and this is after. And obviously, you know, I'm probably not the best at using this effect at the moment, but with all these great presets, you can easily work with this and you have a lot to work with. So I'll go ahead and invite you to check out Diopter. The link is in the description of the video. It's only $40 and you get obviously the awesome plugin with, with the 30 presets and you get a folder with over 40 elements here. Actually, I think it's 40 exactly. Uh, don't quote me on that, but you get about 40 elements here, you know, JPEGs and video, which you can just deposit on top of your video in Adobe Premiere or, you know, Photoshop if you're using JPEGs. So it's an awesome plugin overall, and I'm very excited to be using this as a video producer as myself. So I hope you find this plugin as awesome as I think it is. So if you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more filmmaking slash After Effects tutorials just like this, and please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video. And as always, I hope you have a good day.